Hi, it's the Sykes from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today you book is The Bear Teen Bears in the Messy Room for 1983. So let's get started. From the outside, the Bear Tree House, which stood beside a sunny dirt road deep in Bear Country, looked very neat and well kept. The flower Beds sparkled with red, yellow, and blue tulips. The woodwork was freshly painted and in good repair. The grass was cut and the vegetable patch was properly weeded. Even the bird nest that perched on one of the tree house branches was well trimmed. The inside of the bear tree house was neat and clean too. The picture was straight, the papino was dusted, the kitchen was spick and span. Even the basement was neat and clean. And if you don't think it's easy to keep a tree house basement neat and clean, well you have never tried to do it. Yes, the beer tree house was a lesson in neatness and cleanness, except for one place, Brother Bear and Sister Bear room. It was a mess. A dust catcher, wall to wall, helter skelter mess. A half done jigsaw puzzle gathered dust in one corner of the room. A group of Brother Dinosaur modes. Collected cobwebs in another. Sister stuffed animals was everywhere. As for the cub's big storage closet, well, just be careful how you open it. It wasn't that brother and sister was naturally messy. They tried to keep their room straight. They made their beds most of the time. They swapped and picked up once in a while. The trouble was that when clean wait when cleanup time came, they spent more time arguing than cleaning. How am I supposed to sweep when your dumb dinosaur toys all over the floor? Argus sister. They are not toys, they are models, and don't move them. I'm working on a setup of the prehistoric age, brother for test. Prehistoric, shouted sister. Not only was brother and sister room a mess, but brother and sister was getting to be a mess too. Always arguing about clean up chores instead of sharing the job and work as a team. What usually happened was that while the cubs argued about who turn it was to do what mama took the broom and did the sweeping herself. And she often did the picking up too. That was the worst part. The picking up and putting away. While the mess just seemed to build up and build up until one day Maybe it was because Mama back was a little stiff, or maybe it was stepping on brother airplane cement, or maybe she was just fed up with that messy room. But whatever it was, Mama lost her temper. She stormed into the cub's room with a big box. The first thing we have to do is get rid of all this junk, she said. Junk, said brother and sister. Watching in horror as Mama began to throw things into a box. My teddy bear isn't junk, screamed sister. My bird nest collection isn't junk, yelled brother at the top of his youngs. The screaming and yelling got so loud that it reached Papa, who was in his workshop, putting the finishing touches on a batch of chairs that had been ordered by one of his customers. 
He couldn't imagine what was wrong. He hurried up the stairs and looked into the messy, noisy room. It didn't take a deep thinker to figure out what was going on. Papa got wait, Papa got Mama in the Cubs' attention and called a family meeting right then and there. Now the mess had really built up in this room, he said. In fact, it's the worst case of messy build up I had ever seen. And it and it isn't fair, he continued, it isn't fair to your mama and me because we have a lot of other things to take care of and it isn't fair to you because you really can't have fun or relax in a room that's just a terrible mess. But Mama is putting all my things into that box, even my teddy bear, says sister. And my things too, cried brother. Then Papa got an idea, a box, yes, he said. Better yet, a different kind of boxes. A big toy box for your large toys. I can make one for you in my shop. And some smaller boxes for your collection and models. And how about one of those boards with holes in Pegs to hang things on, asked sister. A pegboard, said Papa. Great idea. All this room needed a little organization. A little organization and a few ruse, added Mama. Ruse about more sweeping and less arguing and not leaving things to gather dust and cobwebs. Papa set to work making a fine big toy box and large pegboard. While the Cubs and Mama sorted out toys, books, games, and puzzles and put them into boxes that fit neatly into the closet, every box was clearly labeled. Some of the Cubs' things did end up in Mama's big throwaway box, not Sister Teddy Bear, of course, but some were brother bird nests, the crumbled and falling apart ones. It was a big job cleaning up all that messy buildup, but after a lot of straightening up and putting away, the job would finally be finished. Wow, said brother, that was quite a job, but it was worth it, and it looked like a whole new room, said sister. The cobweb, the, the cubs was right. And Papa had been right, too. It was so much more enjoyable to live in a neat, clean room, well-organized room, and so much more relaxing. It wasn't as exciting to open the big store storage closet now, but, but it was much more practical and a lot more fun. So that was the Bears Team Bears in the Messy Room for 1983. If you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.